The animal I really dig above all others is the pig. Pigs are noble, pigs are clever, pigs are courteous, however. Now and then to break this rule would mean a pig who is a fool. What, for example, would you say if strolling through the woods one day, right there in front of you saw a pig who had built his house of straw, the wolf who saw it licked his lips and said, The pig has had his chips. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, bite the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house in. The little pig began to pray, but Wolfie blew his house away. Bacon, pork and ham, oh what a lucky wolf I am. Although he ate the pig quite fast, he carefully kept the tail to the last. Wolf wandered on, a trap bloated. Surprise, surprise, for some he noted. Another little house for pigs, and this one had been built of twigs. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, bite the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house in. Okay, here we go. Then he began to blow and blow. The little pig begins to squeal. Oh, whoa, you had one meal. Why can't we talk and make a deal? Not on your Nelly. And soon the pig was in his belly. Two juicy little pigs, they cried, but still I'm not quite satisfied. I know how full my time is bulging, but oh, how I adore indulging. So creeping quietly as a mouse, the wolf approached another house. Another house which also had inside a little piggy trying to hide. You'll not get me! The piggy cried. I'll blow you down! The wolf replied. You'll need a lot of puff and I don't think you've got that up. The wolf huffed and puffed and blew and blew, the house stay up as good as new. I can blow it down, that's what I said, I will have to blow it up instead. I will come back in the dead of night and blow it up with dynamite. You brood, I might have known! And picking up the telephone, he dialed as quickly as he could the number of Red Riding Hood. Hello, who's speaking? Who? Oh, hello Piggy, how'd you do? I need your help, Miss Hood. Oh, help me, please. Do you think you could? I'll try, of course. What's on your mind? A wolf! I know you've dealt with wolves before, and now I've got one at my door. My darling pig, my sweet. That's something really up my street. I've just begun to wash my hair, but when it's dry, I'll be right there. A short while later, through the wood came striding brave Miss Riding Hood. The wolf stood there, his eyes ablaze, and yellowish like mayonnaise. His teeth were sharp, his gums were raw, and spit was dripping from his jaw. Once more the maiden's out of flickers, she draws the pistol from her knickers. Once more she hits a vital spot and kills him with a single shot. Pick peeping through the window, stud in the air. Oh, Piglet, you must never trust young ladies from the upper crust. For now, Miss Riding Hood notes not only has two wolf skin coats, but when she goes from place to place, she has a pigskin traveling case.